Hello, my name is Mark from Pestcon Environmental, and today we're going to be talking about mice. Now, mice are our most common adversary here in London, and here we are in an office storage area. Mice are so common in London because we have cavity floors. Now, this is where the mice will nest and run away into shelter from. We need to look for the vulnerable areas. Now, vulnerable areas, even in homes, you need to be looking where the pipe work comes in and the electrical cables. So anywhere their services come into the property, we need to be looking as the source. Now, immediately coming into this room, I can see server cables coming through floor sockets. Now, this is a great opportunity for mice. We know they're gonna get in the cavities occasionally, and this is how they'll climb the cable and they're in. So we've got to look at blocking this off. Also, this is a server cable. Mice will gnaw. They file their teeth down several times a day. And the reason they do that is because their teeth never stop growing the incisors. So they'll gnaw on this electrical cable. And before you know it, your business has lost all its internet and you are in bother. Other than electrical cables coming into the room, you need to look at the heating pipe work. Here, we have services coming in. Now, the tradesmen have done a good job here. The carpets are nice and tight around here and there's not a gap. We always have a rule of thumb that about a pencil size, you will get a juvenile mouse squeezed through the gap. However, here it is fine. I'm also now going to go around the edge of the room and check for any gaps whatsoever around between the wall and the floor as mice, if they have the opportunity, will gnaw new holes in this corner. We have to be pulling out any items. That all looks fine. So I'll work around the rest of the room and then I'll go into the next office and we'll see what we can find in there. And here we've got a major problem. We have got a large floor socket which has been removed, I can only assume, by the customer. And all these cables, there are hundreds of mice droppings below this cavity floor. So this again is a vulnerable point and this is where we want to be looking at possibly putting pesticides. However, if we put pesticides in here and there's electrical cables, we have to make sure that we put them in a hardened box because if we just leave them loose, there's a good chance that the mice will feed from the pesticide and whilst they're feeding from the pesticide, they may hit a cable. And that's just one thing we do not want. So this is a tamper resistant box. I've put rodenticide, a pesticide that kills rodents, inside so the mice will feed from this and within two to four days, it'll work its way through the mouse and eradicate it. I'll also mark up the box of exactly what's in there, just in case there is an issue. Okay, this is gonna go inside the cavity floor and I'm gonna move it well away from the electrical cables just to make sure there is no chance whatsoever of mice hitting the cable. Now you may say, why are you putting the rodenticide there? Because you're drawing the mice to that. There's already mice in there, that's where they live. So yes, we'll draw the mice there, but if anyone has got any foods out here in the office, they'll come to that first and they'll feed from that rather than coming into the office. And that is exactly what we want. You have to display the rodenticide differently. Some mice may be cautious. There's something called TRB resistance where mice, they believe now scientists, are getting fearful of going inside these boxes to feed. So it's what we'll do. We'll put a little bit of rodenticide in a bait tray and there are no pets, I've already spoken to the office staff, there are no pets in here, and I'm gonna put these in out the way locations where no foot traffic will be going past. I'll use a soft pesticide, and I'll use a granular hardened pesticide, just to try and mix it up with baits. One smells of wheat, and one actually smells of chocolate. And the reason we use this is because mice have been feeding off breads and seeds for hundreds of years, and mice have actually got a taste for chocolate now because we keep leaving it in our office drawers. Do not leave chocolate in your office drawers overnight. So I'm now gonna put these in a location where there are no foot traffic. Now this is a storage office. Yes, there's computers in here, but I've been assured that people are not in here. It's very cluttered, so is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right at the back, out the way of any cables. Okay, now any mice coming into this room, they'll climb this electrical cable, and then they'll feed from the pesticide if they don't feed from the pesticide in the tamper resistant box. Now that we have baited the vulnerable areas and I did find two more floor plates that were missing. So I've again repeated what I've done in the first office and we'll see. Next week we'll return, we'll replenish the pesticide 
and then we'll give it a further week to make sure we've killed off the infestation and then we'll return to either put new floor sockets in or block up any of the holes that we found. If you have a commercial property that has cavity floors, then you've got to be looking for vulnerable areas. If you do, then give us a shout at Pescon Environmental and we'll be happy to come and do a free survey. If you like the video, then push the like button or follow the link to subscribe to our channel. Thank you, I'm Mark from Pescon Environmental. Yeah.